yeah hello everyone and welcome to your brains and this is Naveen uh, in this video we're gonna see a new question the question is last cas okay so given two strings they have given a two strings a and b okay so written a new string made up of the first character of a and the last character of b so you have to return a string made up of the first character of a so a is a string and b is a string so first character of a and the last character of b okay and both can be added up together and you have to return the string so it means yo and java so it converts like yeah so y from the first string i mean the first character from the first string and last character from the second string it converts like this okay and one more condition is if either the string is length 0 if the given string length is 0 then use at the rate for the missing characters okay so now let me understand the program so here suppose you say a b c and d e f okay so what is the answer here uh, first character from the first string is a and the last character is f so answer is a f okay so suppose something t u uh, y something and then x g the what else here so t and g okay and one more thing if it is empty and here h g then watch so if the string is empty you have to return in place of that at the rate and the last character of this will will be g okay uh, for suppose f and g and then here is empty then watch f is the first character yes it is having and the second string is empty if it is having empty you must return watch at the rate replace okay fine and then one more so f g sorry g f and character just a then it will be g a right only one character is the first the last same right if both are empty then watch then it will be at the rate and at the rate this is what the test case so now here uh, how to get the first character of a string because they given two strings we have to get the first character and the last character so how to get the first character here is str dot you know you can write a caret of uh, zero or else substring of zero comma one both you can write and here uh, how to get the last character is str dot substring of uh, length minus one you can give or uh, caret of length minus one you can get the character or a string okay so both both works and also one more question one more uh, condition here is if it is more than one length then only you will get the character if it is less than i mean it is just empty you can't get the uh, str dot cat of zero because it you get the you may get the string index out of bound exception so the condition here is the length of the string should be greater than or equal to one then only you get the first character or last character if it is not the case then use at the rate in place of that okay so let me write the answer for this so let me just copy this question go to eclipse and paste uh, here uh, first I just check uh, I just take a string a uh, let's take like a okay a string is equal to empty string I'll take okay and the string b string is equal to empty string okay so the first condition here is if a string you can do control space so to get the hints uh, a string dot length is greater than or equal to one if it is more than the one length then only you get the first character of it so i get the first character but i written the data type is string so i just say uh, a string is equal to a dot uh, substring of 0 comma 1 0 
comma one okay you get the first character else else means what if it is minimum one character you get the first character of it else means zero right length is zero if length is zero then a string uh, will be you can go for double quotes at the rate because it is a string uh, fine that's about a string right and what about the b string so b string also same uh, i just copy the ifs and paste it below they are here so b uh sorry one second we made some mistake yeah it's not a string dot length it is a dot length right it was given the string right uh sorry about this yeah it's a b dot length okay you have to check the condition on the given string not the your string okay so b dot length is more than and then the b string value will be but b string will be what last character this is the first character here last character so how to get the last character is b dot substring of b dot len minus one okay you get the last character okay then b string is equal to at the edge fine so now I got a string based on this condition and B string also based on the condition and finally what you have to write you have to append a string and B string so you have to written a string plus B string okay so now save this and let me just copy this back to uh, website and paste it here and click on go yes i got all success right uh okay that's fine but you know we write uh, too many lines of logic right uh, we don't need to write these many lines we can just shorten this what is that is see if uh, and else you can just make a shortcut of this like a ternary operator okay so how ternary operator works is uh, is check the condition if the condition success the first part of this uh, ternary operator will execute otherwise the second part uh, I just tell you how it works you can just shortcut the same thing see uh, how you do this is string a string is equal to empty you just declared it and then you check the condition here uh, I don't want to do this I want to make this one here only in a single line using ternary operator okay or conditional operator okay so what do we have done here is what is the value of a string if it is greater than or equal to one a value is this otherwise this so you can just check the condition here only yes is the condition and question mark if the condition is success then a strings value will be this one copy that and paste else colon value will be at the edge okay so this is the shortcut i just remove this uh, uh, if else yeah see here a strings value will be if a length is more than or equal to one then substring of 0 comma 1 i mean the first character otherwise this is called otherwise i mean else condition if the condition success this will execute and if the condition fails this will execute so either one will be assigned to the variable okay same thing let me replace for the base string so let me check uh, the condition here question mark and then uh, b string value will be this let me reduce the font size uh, it's a control minus minus paste okay and i don't need this if else right so now watch see a string you got and b string also you got and then finally a string plus b string so we just reduce the number of lines let me check is that working or not let me just copy this and back to here and let me just delete this and paste it and click on go yes you get the correct answer
right so uh, first of all what my suggestion here is uh, you just try to uh, find out the solution and then try to reduce the number of lines okay uh, because uh, a perfect programmer has to write uh, less number of lines uh, for any solution right so one may write uh, more number of lines and one may write less number of lines but less number of lines uh, gives uh, more priority right so that's the solution for this problem and thank you so much for watching and we'll see the next question in the next video thank you